In this video, I will show you how you can access your extruder's inner part much easier with the FanHinge Upgrade 40 ANIT A8. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Changing filament can sometimes be a challenge, especially when filament gets stuck in the extruder or the extruder is blocking for another reason. If you have to access the extruder's inner part, you have to remove the filament cooler fan and the cooling block. But this can be done much easier with the extruder fan hinge upgrade. In the next minutes, I will walk you through the steps of modifying the cooling block and the extruder block and also installation of the fan hinge. Let's do this! As usual, please also check the description and the comment section for links to additional information, amendments to the content and parts used in this video. If anything mentioned doesn't work as expected, let's discuss in the comment section down below. First, let's see what we need to do this modification. Print out the two parts for the fan hinge from Thingiverse first. There's also a customized version available which holds the 3D touch sensor. I've linked it in the description. You can see here that the current position of the sensor will interfere with the new fan hinge, so it will have to be moved to the front. Also check out the remixes of the original fan hinge mod to find the one that fits your bad leveling sensor and get in touch using the comment section if you have questions about that. We will use two countersunk screws M3 by 20 mm or we can also cut two of the M3 by 30 mm screws that come with the printer by about 9 to 10 mm. Also we will need two countersunk screws M3 by 30 mm and two 3 mm nuts to fix the cooling block to the fan and the fan hinge part. Finally we need a 50 mm long M3 screw some washers and a nut for joining the fan hinge. Also get some Loctite to fix the fan hinge screw and the nut otherwise it will loosen because of the constant vibrations of the printer. So let's start with the disassembly of the extruder fan and cooling block but make sure you have removed the filament before starting doing that. So after removing the extruder fan and cooling block, remove the screw that holds the whole extruder in place uh, with a hex wrench from the bottom of the slider uh, that's moving the x-axis. Now when everything is loose, uh, you can take off the extruder block from the throat that goes into the nozzle. Then we need to sink the screw holes on both the extruder block and the cooling block's backside so our countersunken screw fit nice and flush in there. Be careful when sinking the holes on the cooling block because there is just about 2 mm of material thickness so make sure you do this in several small iterations until you reach the point where the countersunk screw head fits in nice and flush. So we're basically ready to mount everything back together in the reverse order so let's start doing that. Starting with the extruder block we will screw that back onto the extruder thread. Make sure that the upper end of the block is even with the throat end. If you want to use the M3 by 30 mm screws to mount the block to the motor, cut them down by 10 mm or use M3 by 20 screws instead. Put the tension spring back on and then fix the extruder block to the motor using the M3 by 20 mm screws. Thank you. 
Insert the hexagon bolt from the bottom of the extruder mount and tighten it with the hex wrench. Now tighten the throat nut against the extruder mount. Make sure that your throat does not unscrew from the extruder block. Check out if the extruder release mechanism works well and the spring has good tension. Now remove the nozzle cooling fan and mount the fixed part of the hinge mod together with the nozzle fan. If the existing screws are too short, you probably need two M screws that are slightly longer, but it can also work with the existing ones, so just test it out yourself. Next we mount the moving hinge part to the extruder cooling fan and the cooling block. The last step is to hinge both parts using the long M3 screw, two washers and the M3 nut. Lock it tightly so the hinge does not move so easily. Don't forget to fix the hinge nut and also the nuts on the fan because the printer vibrations will loosen the nuts over time and they might fall off during the print, which you definitely don't want. Now we can do some hinge action. By the way, if you're done mounting everything back together, please don't forget that you might have to do a bad leveling again. I have to mount my deep 3D touch sensor and calibrate everything, so make sure you don't miss that. That's it for today. If you appreciate this video, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to my channel to support me creating new content for you and ring the bell if you wanna get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.